Hi guys, Kevin here. Nice to see you again. Today we're fixing the famous French Coquille Saint-Jacques. What it is, is scallops simmered in a whiny cream sauce and then topped with cheese and then broiled briefly and served. It's a super chic dish and it's super simple. Almost ridiculously simple to make. Anyway, here's the recipe. Okay, so the first thing you need is a skillet, and I'm using a 12-inch non-stick skillet here. I'm going to add one pound of bay scallops. And then I'm going to cover the scallops. Uh, cover them almost, but not quite, to the top with about three-quarters of a cup of dry French vermouth. Now, if you don't have vermouth on hand, you could always use any dry white wine. Grab my spatula, spread these out. Yeah, the combination of vermouth and scallops is, well, formidable. Then I'm going to add one heaping tablespoon of, uh, this is the white part of scallions. See, so I cut that off and just finely minced it. Uh, you could also use finely minced onion or finely minced shallot. Anyway, just sprinkle that in and then add exactly one quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. And then I'm going to bring this to a rapid boil on the stove top and when it's ready, I'll come back. Okay, we've achieved a boil here, so now immediately lower the heat and just let the scallops simmer quietly for about two minutes or until they're springy to the touch. You definitely do not want, want to overcook the scallops. Now, while the scallops are simmering, take a wire mesh sieve and set it over a bowl. And then you can put this aside for a moment and then take a heaping tablespoon of regular cornstarch, put it in a small bowl, and add just enough water or wine to make a thick but smooth slurry. I'm just whisking mine together. This is going to be the uh, thickening agent. And there we go. And just set this aside. All right, the scallops have simmered for about two minutes. They're just springy to the touch. So now pour them through the sieve so that the cooking juices escape into the bowl below. And then Ready to move these over here. Return the cooking juices to the skillet. And then also to the skillet, we're going to add a half cup of heavy cream because, well, you cannot have a French dish without a half cup of heavy cream. Also going to add just a dash of plain old paprika. About that much, a quarter teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to bring this back to the boil and I'll come back. All right, the cream and wine sauce has come to a boil, so now stir in that cornstarch mixture. <clears throat> this is going to thicken the sauce dramatically and quickly. Look at that already. I'm going to cut off the heat. Our sauce is done. Okay, so here are the scallops we strained earlier and just tip them into the bowl and then add this luxurious cream sauce. Oh baby, this smells as wonderful as it looks. And then gently but thoroughly mix the 
scallops, and the cream sauce together. Then we're going to set this aside for a moment so I can show you the different kinds of dishes in which you can serve Coquille Saint-Jacques. All right, so you could serve Coquille Saint-Jacques in little ramekins like this. Just put them on a baking sheet. There's a little gratin dish. I have a couple of these. However, I'm not going to be using the ramekins or the gratin dishes today. Uh, and also, I should mention, you can use a regular casserole dish for your Coquille Saint-Jacques. But let me show you what I'm going to use for serving my Coquille Saint-Jacques. Okay, I'm going to use actual scallop shells, which I purchased about 10 years ago from Amazon. They were cheap, cheap, cheap. I bought eight of them. And of course, once you put them on a baking sheet, they can wobble around as you're filling them. So the solution, the anti-wobble solution, is to take a wadded up sheet of aluminum foil, put that in the pan, and then arrange these scallop shells on the crumpled foil. And if you notice any um, tilting, you can always just pinch bits of foil together to hold the shells in place. I'm going to do six of these today. Although I probably have enough for eight first course servings here. And then, let me grab a spoon so we can fill the shells. I'm going to fill my shells rather generously. Yum. And I, while I'm filling these, let me explain that you can make this dish hours and hours ahead of time in the event you're having company. Would that we could have company these days during the pandemic. Anyway, you can make this in the morning and then just cover it and refrigerate it. And then about five minutes before serving time, preheat your broiler and broil your Coquille Saint-Jacques for about two minutes or until it's spotty brown. Yeah, this is a really elegant and super simple dish. Now we have to give these a gratiné, so let me grab some cheese from the refrigerator. Okay, so I have some Jarlsberg cheese that I grated up in the food processor earlier. Jarlsberg is a like a high-end Swiss cheese. It's very delicious, but you could use any kind of Swiss cheese. It does not have to be high-end. You want to Put, oh, roughly a tablespoon of the cheese on top of the scallop mixture. It's actually the cheese that's going to color under the broiler. A little more cheese on this one and this one. And then we're not quite ready to eat, so I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and pop it in the refrigerator and then I'll come back when we're ready to broil them off. Okay, while we're waiting for the broiler to heat up, uh, I wanted to tell you that uh, one of my favorite ways to serve Coquille Saint-Jacques is when I've made a beef stew for dinner. Coquille Saint-Jacques makes a fabulous first course. And what an easy first course, because as I said, you can make it the morning of. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Um, oh yeah, Coquille Saint-Jacques is also a fabulous main course 
And again, you do not have to serve it in actual scallop shells. Uh, you can serve it in any shallow baking dish. Just make sure your baking dish can go under the broiler. Okay, now I am going to pop my cookie Saint-Jacques under the broiler for just about two minutes. Again, we're looking for spotty brown on top. Okay, here they are straight out of the oven. Let me see if I can lift this a little closer to you so you can see. So yeah, they're just spotty brown and this took oh between 90 seconds and two minutes in the broiler. You really have to watch to make sure you don't overdo things. Okay, here's the first one for Mr. Fox. And here is the first one for me. And I'm going to accompany this with a green salad. And for me, a um, crusty baguette. And of course, we have to have a little taste. But first, let me hold the plate up to you so you can see. Isn't this a beautiful thing? All right, a taste. This is going to be really hot. Mmm. Very hot and very delicious. Okay, so the scallops are definitely not overcooked. They're springy and sweet. Scallops by nature are sweet. Yum. And of course the wine and cream sauce, which I'm going to soak up with a little coutine, is absolutely heavenly. Okay, I finished my first serving. And I should mention that these scallop shells are really easy to clean. Again, I've had mine for about 10 years. And I use them, oh, probably three or four times each year. You can wash them by hand. You can even put them in the dishwasher. Anyway, I hope you'll give Coquille Saint-Jacques a try. As you've just seen, it's super easy to make. And I hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And please post a comment below. I do read all of your comments, and I really love hearing from you. Your words are the sunshine of my life. Uh, and I will put the list of ingredients in the description box below. I will also put a link to the printable recipe in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.